Welcome back guys to Pinoy Balance. You're Mark and Mark here, your host. I want to ask these guys some questions uh, about Kobe. What are some of the things that you guys have remembered about Kobe, whether the game that he played, a story about him that kind of made you a fan of him or made you remember of him, made you admire him as a person or as a basketball player? Well, my relationship with Kobe was more of him being a villain on the court. Um, there's so much that I despised about him, but you just can't help but admire him for how good of a player he is. Just because he's defeated all of my teams growing up and everything, just how, you know, his mentality on the court was just totally different that I just did not kind of like wrap around my head until I think later on into the years, you know, um, when he announces his retirement, that's when I kind of like developed and I saw more of like Kobe's true value and like why people, why so many people admired him the most, right? So as for you guys, I think one thing that <clears throat> really sticks out to me is there's a time where like, he ruptured his Achilles yeah. and I'm victim. I'm a victim of that. I actually ruptured my Achilles probably five years ago and it's like probably the most devastating thing to happen to you physically. It's really hard to recover yeah. but <clears throat> having someone that's like the master of their craft of basketball to be able to perform at that high level again and recover from a, a Achilles uh, injury like that was kind of like all I needed to know that I could get back to where I wanted it because yeah. it's it's actually not only physically draining, it's also mentally draining. So kind of having that role model around that time was like, was pretty good. I think <clears throat> the impact that he's made to those that didn't really like like him as a player is just that, like what he's done even after when he retired and everything and the impact that he's also made from like, you know, his short documentaries, from winning, you know, a Grammy and everything from like Dear Basketball. He's just made so much of that impact and even some of his his books and everything that he's written as well, you know, children's books that he's impacted just to really revolutionize this this millennial and just like kind of show them their true potential and give them that same mentality as what he had and pass on that generation, right? So, for you, friends? Yeah, um, what I remember about Kobe is, you know, how mentally strong he is. Um, I know uh, during his legal case, his legal battle, um, he was still coming back to the basketball court, you know, um, still working, um, hustling, uh, getting 50, 40 every night. Uh, that, that's uh, one thing I, I remembered. And uh, when I lost to the Boston Celtics in 2008, um, he worked harder and made his teammates better. And uh, the following year and, uh, you know, the year after that, uh, when they finally got their revenge against the Boston Celtics, I think that was my uh, most favorite Kobe moment because... I hated those years, as funny as that sounds. <laughs> I really, that, that's what made me like, grew so much of a hate from just like how, how villainous he is. Like, he was so infamous to me, especially that whole like ISO thing that he used to do. I'm just like, oh, he's so annoying. Just that arrogance that he had, but it was so good for me as... Yeah, um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, like as a Laker fan, uh, getting his revenge was like the best thing. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, throughout the years, um, from you see his tenacity, you see he's like arrogant and cocky. Uh, he mellowed out. Uh, he's become like you know softer. Um, you know, as a dad, you it's know, you see his um, yeah. nicer side. Um, you know, he became more of a people person. So um, the the evolution of uh, how Kobe started when he was you know uh, in his younger days. And you know now as a dad, uh, girl dad to be a girl specific, dad. Specific, yeah. it's a, a girl it's a dad. beautiful thing to see, you know. So that's one thing I admire about Kobe Bryant: his mental focus. Um, what yeah. are your thoughts about the fact that you know a statue for him? That's for sure. What are some of the thoughts that you guys have that the NBA could do to commemorate Kobe or uh, her daughter? What are some of the things the Staples could do? What are your thoughts really to? Um, to pay tribute to someone, a Kobe statue? I feel like not only just a statue, but um, more to it as in, you know, organizations to develop, you know, young, young girls and women athletes and everything. I feel like that might be another, you know, it's, it's going to be bigger than basketball for sure, for, you know, what Kobe stood for as, you know, just as a ball player, but as just a role model to, to us and to everyone that has looked up to him throughout these years. Um, I just feel like 
you know, you know, one another big impact is what you know the NBA All Stars are going to be doing right now for him, right? So with the whole point system going on, a lot of people are just not into it. I just feel like this could be a good idea because it is what we say it's for the organization and it is for the charity and everything too. So I feel like there there's more to it. But what do you guys think? Um, I think uh, maybe changing the um, you know Staples Center's uh, name to maybe a Kobe Bryant Stadium or something to um, you know. Um, to memorize him with, um, or um, like people are saying, changing the NBA Any logo, logo. Um, anything really to commemorate his um, him as a basketball player and an icon, and you know, um, to everybody. So that's why I think. How do you guys feel about actually changing the logo? <clears throat> I mean, it's it's a new. I mean, it's a new generation and everything. It's like a like what we said. It's bigger than. It's bigger than what he is, what he truly is as a person, and everything to us. So I like, I, I don't, I don't mind if it does change. Like I can see that happening. Um, breaking traditions, you know, it was Jerry West. Now it's going to be Kobe. So I feel like, yeah, why not? Yeah. What for you? I could definitely get on board. I'm on board. I mean, there's that. a petition for it too. So yeah. they managed to get their goal and signs. Yeah, or yeah. even like you know, um, the All Star MVP change it to the Kobe Bryant Award, something like that. Oh, you know, that's true so, too. Right. That could make sense. It's just something that has to be so. It has to be a yearly award kind of thing, right? So like the Mamba Award or whatever. Who knows? What do you think, Mark? I mean, it's for sure going to be a statue. It's going to be there. Retiring Gigi's number at the Staples Center was one of the really good ideas I thought of as well. Um, and I, I feel like to continue the work that Kobe was trying to do is probably one of the things that I, I would suggest because he was, a, he was really trying to uh, put forward this movement of uh, women in basketball. He was trying to show love for the, uh, the WNBA for building, uh, for building girls like because he thought that they're not getting enough you know, exposure and love for the game because they're also just as passionate about basketball. They also just work as, just as hard and I mean, the Sparks supporting WNBA youth movement for girls and women out there in basketball. I think that's one of the, also the biggest thing I think either the NBA or Los Angeles can do to commemorate Kobe because that's what he was passionate about. Um, the NBA community, I mean, the logo, I think, would be great just because of the fact that, like you mentioned, the older generation, um, yeah, knew Jerry West, but I feel like the younger generation now, either through Michael Jordan or to Kobe or to LeBron, like these kids are the, they looked up to these guys now, not to Jerry West. It's, it's not so much of a disrespect to Jerry West, but it's more so like the NBA also has to adjust to the times, right? And I think this becoming bigger than basketball, to have a logo of Kobe as the NBA uh, <laughs> official logo, I think that just pays a lot of you know, respect to what he has done, not just for the basketball community, but for fans everywhere. He made basketball a global thing with China, Philippines. I mean, these are like worldwide you know, um, uh, impact that he's, he's, gone, he's done for the NBA. And I think it, it just feels right to do it. And I hope that one of the three, one of the few uh, ideas that everybody signed petition for, I hope a couple of them gets implemented and actually gets put into place, right? Um, and that's all we have, guys, for what's up in the NBA. Again, Kobe has meant a lot to everybody. So this tribute that we have for this episode, we're also going to transfer for our ball culture. So stay tuned because when we come back, we have some more Kobe. Kobe.